Hello everyone and welcome to Knife Craze. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Frost Cutlery Folding Knife. Now, like the name suggests, this is a folding knife. The blade still it uses is labeled, it's right here, surgical steel. That most likely means cheap Chinese steel, you know, poor heat treatment, yada yada yada. You, you get the point. Um, this is a very cheap knife. I didn't get this at a Dollar Tree, I didn't get it at Walmart, I got this at a independently run army surplus store in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada for $9.99, which is pretty good because on the counter the guy had two buckets, both filled with folding knives for um, extremely cheap prices and this was one of the two that I chose. The other one we will be reviewing in the next video. Now the blade length of this knife, I know the ruler is upside down, forgive me. Uh, the blade length is about three and a half, close to three and a half inches long, with the actual cutting area being about just a wee bit over three inches. Now as you see, this is a combination blade. Now at first glance it just looks like a serrated blade, but like the previous knife I reviewed, it does have a small area about about half an inch of straight edge and like the previous knife it is a very cheap grind it's only sharpened on one side but considering it's mostly serrations about almost mm, about two and three quarter inches worth of serrations the, the grind really doesn't matter. I mean, if you were to pull this over rope, if you were trying to cut thick rope, this is going to work well enough. Um, there are a ton of different serration patterns out there. I have used this knife a bit for tasks in my garage, and I gotta say, it works perfectly fine. I don't really use the tiny area of straight edge at the front. I mostly just use the serrations for uh, cutting thick rope. That's mostly what this knife uh, does for me. Now, onto the details about this knife. Uh, it does have a thumb stud, as you can see, but it's not dual thumb studded. It is a right hand exclusive thumb stud. So, you know, me being around knives for so long, I am left handed, but it doesn't really bother me now. I can just use my right hand. Uh, it is also a lock back. So, you know, that's a nice feature on there because if it's going to be a cheap folding knife, they could have done liner lock, uh, but that would have been a little bit weaker, especially on a cheap knife like this. So I guess they decided to go with the lock back. Not only that, they didn't do liner lock because the handle scales have no metal liner inside them. It's plastic. It's all plastic. Um, the handle scales aren't bad though. I mean, they're not loose or anything. There's not too many pins that could fall out of here. So I'm assuming it's all attached. It's like molded. It's molded plastic all in one piece, and then they put the mechanism in the lock, the pivot in there. Um, so, you know, there's not too much wrong. There's not too many things on this knife that could go wrong. There's not pivots or pins that could fall out. So, you know, if you're going to go cheap, molded plastic, it's not indestructible, but maybe that's a better choice. And you know what? I think it is. Now... Right here you do see there is a logo, it kind of reminds me of Browning's logo, uh, but this is obviously not Browning, and nor is it Buck, it's just a little image of a, a stag, or you know, whatever you call that type of deer, maybe it's a caribou, I don't know, I don't know the specific names of the animals, but th this is labeled as Frost Cutler, and another interesting note is there's some kind of an eagle or a hawk right beside where it says Frost Cutlery right here there's some kind of a bird so they have an image of a bird and then an image of the buck or a stag so I don't know it's like they couldn't decide hey what animal should we put on our knife either way I think it looks fine um it does have a lanyard hole down here and isn't a very big lanyard hole but that shouldn't be a problem most paracord could fit through there uh the inside of the knife um I haven't got much lint or dirt in there yet but you know, all folding knives will eventually get that in there, especially if you carry it every day in your pocket or if you use it outdoors. Um, you know, what else could we say about this knife? All right, well, another thing is it does have a drop point blade. As you can see, drop point means the blade tip drops down. 
Uh, the tip on it, it's not as sharp as a clip point, but it does have a decent tip on there. And another thing they did to it, as you can see, they kind of put this false edge here, so it brings it down to an even sharper, thinner tip. And the spine of the blade... Oh, fuck. It's like, it's not even a quarter of an inch. But... Like I said, it's a cheap knife. It's something you'd use for light tasks or mostly probably just cutting rope due to that serrated blade. So you're not going to be smashing this thing around. Um, but overall, my personal opinion of it, I like it. I do. I like that I got it for $9.99. That's $9.99. I like the vibe of the surplus store I got it at. And I like the feel of it. It's nice. You got this uh, finger groove in here. Large enough handle for my hand, right? And, and it works for a cheap everyday carry or a rope cutter as I call it this works really nicely now it is a bit stiff opening and closing it, at least it was at first so I put some WD-40 in there and it moves a lot better now um, uh, you know opening with thumb stud is not a problem and all it, it just it was a little rough at first but it works really well now and um, fuck I almost forgot part of my language blade play there is a bit of blade play in the blade but you know what can you expect the handle scales are plastic it is a cheap knife you're not going to get the toughest product um rating i'm going to move on to the rating now personally this knife here keep in mind this is a cheap knife so you would be using it mostly for light duty tasks like i said cutting rope um, at least that's what I can imagine the best choice for this thing would be, or just a simple pocket EDC. Um, I would give this thing, uh, I'm always generous when I rate these knives, mm, five out of 10 stars, five out of 10 stars, because one, it's fairly big. It might be a little too big to carry in Canada. Uh, honestly, like I said, there's a lot of, a lot of debate on the knife laws. Um, but, but I like it. It's, it's decently big. In fact, it's almost as big as my Buck 110 Folding Hunter, which you will see a re review of in the future. I'm just trying to get the cheap stuff out of the way. And the grip, the grip fits my hand nicely. It has a lanyard hold. At least it has a thumb stud. And I'm a fan of lockback folders. This is a lockback. And with that serrated blade, if you need something for a utility knife, a serrated blade is going to do a bit better for you, especially if you're cutting through rough materials a lot. Maybe you're an electrician, a construction worker, whatever. You need a cheap knife, throw in your bag, throw in your pocket, or throw in your truck. There you go. Cheap knife, serrated blade, cut through some rough materials like, you know, thick polypropylene rope, something along the lines of that. And if it breaks, it's only 10 bucks. So, yeah, I rate this knife 5 out of 10 stars. So, I want to do one more thing before we end this video. I want to try cutting through some rope for you guys, just to give you a brief demonstration of how I think a serrated blade can be useful sometimes. So, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, well, I couldn't find any rope, but I do have this old sock here, and we're just going to try cutting through this. So, what you can expect with this, you know, let's twist this up. What you can expect with a serrated blade is that there's always going to be fibers stuck in the teeth. So, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe serrations don't cut as good. Yeah, you know, I could get through this a lot quicker with a good straight edge. Jeez. You know what? I take it back. The serrations are not that good for cutting. A straight edge would cut a lot cleaner through there and a lot quicker. So, you know what? You learn something new every day. Turns out, serrations aren't that good. But you know what? Rethinking it, the best thing that these serrations could be used for is in a self-defense situation. Um... Should you want to inflict a lot of damage on somebody, not condoning violence or murder here, just saying if you were that type of person, not giving any ideas, but if you want to, you know what I'm saying, the, the serrations could, you know, 
cut them open easier. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm going to end re the review there. Uh, but there you go, guys. The Frost Cutlery Folding Knife. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you wish to see more content in the future. And like I promised you before, you will see some cool content in the future. I'm just trying to get the cheap stuff out of the way so that I can spend my time making, you know, a, a really nice video for the really nice knives. So without, uh, without any more in the way, have a great day.